Hi you guys. This is Deb and Greg um, and we are Kip's Keto Kitchen. So hashtag Kip's Keto Kitchen. Um, our last name is Kip and that's why we're calling it Kip's Keto Kitchen. I know a lot of people have been calling him Kip but he's which is okay. Because that's fine because I would he's call been him. Kipper all his life I guess yeah. so <clears throat> but I am um, um, call me. So tonight Kip's Keto Kitchen is getting fancy. <laughs> we are going to be making a shrimp and asparagus gribiche. And we had no idea what this was until we started um, searching and doing some YouTube that, videos on it. Uh, so I can tell. Um, Annalie. Michelle. Yep, Michelle. So thanks you guys for hopping on, first of all. Um, drop, us, drop a live and let us know where you're coming from if you see the little red live up in the corner. If you don't see the live, you're watching a replay, and that's okay. Just hey, hey, replay, and let us know where you are. Um, and if you are not following Kip's Keto Kitchen and you want to be sure that you can catch a live version of us every week, we go live Tuesdays and Thursdays from five at 5.30. Um, just tap between our faces. Come over here. Don't, don't be so far in the background. <laughs> tap between our faces. You'll see... Um, the three little dots drop down and you can hit the follow button there and um, If you want to know where we keep all of our recipes We keep them in a private keto group and we would love to invite you into that group because no keto police in there It's a perfectly safe place. You're not going to get criticized. Nobody's going to scold you for eating the wrong thing um, If you're interested Ooh. in being in that group, just let us know and um, drop the word recipe or the best way to do it and the fastest way is to send me a friend request and then send me a message that says recipe. And then I know you watch this and you want to be in there. So we're going to let, um, okay, we have the water boiling, right? right? So this is a very quick and easy. I know it sounds fancy. Um, we were kind of talking and we thought, you know, sometimes it's nice to do a little romantic dinner, something a little bit different than just a burger or... Uh, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? We like to do romantic yes. dinners on occasion. Date night. Date night. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Dome roll. Yep. There you go. Okay. So when we do, um, we like to cook something up a little bit fancier, right? So this sounds pretty fancy. And the, and the bottle of wine <clears throat> comes with the meal. Yeah. So, anyway. Oh, yeah. Right. Exactly. But, um, but what I want you to know, this is easy. It's fast. It's like 10 minutes prep time, 10 minutes cook time and you're eating and listen to this it's only four net carbs so it's amazing so i'm going to turn it over to him okay. because he's kind of got things under control and um i do <laughs> i think so okay and then i'll wash the dishes yes <laughs> we got a dishwasher here so it's not but anyway i'm going to start out uh, so, uh okay i'm going to start out. i'm going to put the asparagus and the shrimp i got the water boiling mm -hmm. So you put the asparagus in. Well, he's over there. I'm going to say hi. Hi, and Maria. Hi, hi, Kathy. Hi, Anna Lee. Uh, hi, Nancy. Thanks, you guys, for hopping on. Yes. Sorry, I butted in. Sorry. <clears throat> Bring it to a boil. So when that was boiling. So anyway, then I'm going to start with the rabiche. <coughs> I guess it's a sauce. It's an egg-based, hard-boiled egg-based. Aren't you supposed no, to turn? It's on. Okay. Let's pull, 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 <laughs> it, pull it off when it's when it's boiling and then let it sit for five minutes. Oh, all right. And it's, it'll be done. So anyway, uh, it's an hard boiled based eggs and everybody, I don't this know. This is the way like, we always run. <laughs> like <laughs> run in our kitchen. Hard boiled eggs. <laughs> so we start out with two eggs that are chopped fine. Finely chopped? Finely chopped. Chopped fine, finely chopped. Okay. And then... What's up with your apron? Oh, this is going to be retired because the snow is going away and the snowman is going to go away until next year. So we're going to think spring, summer, fall. So then you got dill pickles. Got, uh, yeah, it was uh, three tablespoons of dill pickles. And then we're going to take, take some Dijon mustard. That's uh, one tablespoon of that. in there I think that should be and then we have a fourth of a cup of oil uh, olive oil uh, 
I'm going to use some olive oil, or you can use avocado oil. Fourth of a cup of that. And a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Tablespoon of parsley, chopped parsley that goes in there. Half a teaspoon of pepper. Tell them what gravish stands for. Did you tell them? Yeah, it's a hard, uh, hard, hard boiled egg <laughs> sauce. And it's French, right? It's French, and uh, so I melted it French, and I'm pronouncing it wrong. Don't, Sorry. <laughs> no, feel, feel free to correct me. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Hey, Teresa, uh, thanks for hopping on. Oh, we're hey, going to mix that all up. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Now it's boiling. Now it's done. <laughs> and one packet of trivia, stevia. Yeah, it should, they should be done. Uh, one packet of uh, your favorite sweetener, besides sugar. So this is going to be all mixed up. Sir, would you like me to dump that in the drain? Yeah, you could uh, get, the, get the plates ready. And I made this in kind of a clear, so I can just, it's, you can just pour it out. Or you can make it in a bowl, you know, whatever. Smells good. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Very good, bud. Yeah. All right. So you're supposed to let it boil and then take it off the burner and let it sit for five minutes and it, it'll cook itself. Um, the shrimp and the asparagus. I've made asparagus where actually it's been kind of mushy. I like it just a little bit firm. So. I was going to, yeah, but I was going to put some of the in the... In a bowl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You want some in the bowl? So there, yeah. Just put a little bit of drizzle on there, and then you can put some in the bowl so we can dip into it. It smells really good. It's pungent, I will tell you that. And it's probably the vinegar. But did you taste it at all? No, no? not yet. Not yet? Okay. But look at how beautiful that looks. I mean, that's, you know, and it's quick and easy, right? I mean, we're done already, and we're ready to sit down and, and eat. Supper. So that's the key to Kip's Keto Kitchen is easy, um, simple. We want you to be able to enjoy it, and we don't want it to be hard because for us, the keto lifestyle has been great, a, a total change. You know, we've been doing it for a year, and... A lot of people say they can't give up their breads or they can't give up certain things. We don't feel like we've given anything up. We feel like we have really, um, we really enjoy our food now. We're mindful about what we're eating. So it's more mindful eating than just shoving stuff in our mouth to, you know, eat, I guess, yeah. right? I mean, that's kind of the way I feel. So let me say hello again. Hey, Elna. Hi, Jill. I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you guys feel like anybody else would like to see this, feel free to share because sharing is caring. And we love to get our name out there so that we have people who are watching. I do have to taste this though because it smells so good. So. Oh, it is. Hmm? Mm. That, that was really good. And I can't wait to sit down and eat. So thanks you guys so much for hopping on. We love you. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to hop on and watch us. Anything else um, you got to tell them before we... No, I mean, really, it's, you know, it's been 10 minutes since we hopped on. So you can see how quick and easy this is. Really, it's hard boiling the eggs. It's getting the eggs ready. 
And I made eggs, when I hard boil eggs, I make extra eggs. You know, you can boil a dozen, then you got eggs for tomorrow for breakfast. Or right. you can make, you know, what they call them, stuffed eggs. I mean, it's, it's. Hey, Deborah. Thanks for hopping on. Thank you for all hopping on. It's, you know, it's, anything okay. else you got to say for yourself? No, except this is the last time you're going to see the. Yes, we're going to. Last time we're going to see the snowman. The snow this year. is going away. Like I said, we're going to think spring. We think bought summer. some new spring aprons, so oh, yeah. we're going to start showing those. Um, Thursday night we don't have anything planned yet. If there's anything you want us see, want to see us make, somebody had suggested um, chicken a la king. So yeah, maybe we'll we look into that. We'll check it out. We can, you know, we're we'll flexible. See. So stay tuned <clears throat> and be sure to hop on Thursday night and watch us. Um, other than that, we'll see you guys Thursday. Take care. Have a good one.